Okay, guys, so there is a new feature in Unreal that no one is talking that much, but it's now it's very, very useful because now that the fab change, now you don't have, you know, the classic import from Quixel Mega Scans. And what happens is that when you download an asset from here, I will, I can just download this and I will just get the files. When you import this, you will see all these files that you see here. And what happened with Quixel is that they usually merge them. Now, the good thing is now you can merge them. And usually this is a process where you can just go to Photoshop and just go through the, you know, different layers and this kind of stuff. Likely for us, there is a better way inside Unreal where we can do that. So we can just go to plugins, go to texture graph. And here, check it, restart the editor. And what you will have now, it's uh, go to texture and then go to texture graph. And let me open it so you can see what, what's going on. So there are a bunch of things you can do here. But the most important one for me is this combine channels. So when you do that, you can just grab the channels that you want. So for example, the ambient occlusion, go to the red one, the roughness go to the green one and the blue one you can either put displacement or put like the cavity whatever you want really just put it here and you can just combine the channels and go here export and look at that now i have all my channels combined and you have something like this and you know you can just drag this and just connect it where wherever you want so for example, like here, should be good to go. And then, you know, and then your texture is updated. So these, this texture graph, it's very, very useful. You can split channels as well. Like if you want to do the opposite, you can split the channels. Like for example, this one, and you want to split the R channel, <laughs> you can export it as well. Uh, there are so many things you can do here, but in general, I find this very, very useful. Now, another thing that has happened in Unreal that nobody's talking too much about it is the fact that usually you can reduce the size of these textures and you can go to the LOD bias and put like two and you will see here like the texture displayed is 256, right? So this is a way to optimize your game. But the disk size is going to grab the highest resolution and it's going to put it on your hard drive, which is a disaster when you download like 8K textures and you're going to be using like 2K at the most. You're just wasting so much disk space. So what will happen is like you will, before you will export this, you know, export the texture, like open it in Photoshop and, you know, re just reduce the size of it and then re-import it again. So now what you can do is you can just go here and you can just texture reduce file. And you can just go here and just check, for example, I want 256. So 256 is my new size. I can go here and now you will see that the highest LOD is actually 256, uh, which means this file it's much smaller compared to the to the other ones. Like for example, this one is one megabyte, whereas this one is two. And uh, you know, you get the idea. Like this texture is now very pixelated. You know, that's that's how it works. And it's very useful because now you don't need to leave Photoshop. And if you have used Photoshop before, like their monetizing practices are terrible. So, uh, like if you are Adobe for sure, and if you want to do this kind of operations inside Unreal, now you can do it with this trick. So I found it really useful. I hope you find it useful as well. Let me know in the comments, what you think, um, and have a good one guys. Bye.